Hi family and welcome back to Doing Life with Pastor Donovan and Pastor Chantal. So good to be with you on this Wednesday afternoon. Thank you for inviting us into your home once again. And family, today as we have done over the last couple of weeks, we want to just take some scriptures mm -hmm. from the Word of God and we just want to go through it and also break it down to extract some truths that come from the Word yeah. of God. Over the last couple of weeks, we had a look at the Lord's Prayer. We also had a look at um, Psalm 23. Yeah. And today we want to have a look at Psalm 91. Mm -hmm. And Psalm 91 is a psalm that has been quoted. I've never certainly heard it quoted more than what I've heard over the over last two years. Of, uh, yes, yes. Especially with COVID because it's a psalm that just encourages us that we're not alone. Absolutely. That God is with us in every situation. And so allow me to read Psalm 91 to you and then we will break it down mm -hmm. and we'll just extract some pointers mm -hmm. out of it. Starts off by saying, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, mm -hmm. nor the arrows that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalk in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall on your side, ten thousand on your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. Mm. For he will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. And they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves you, says the Lord, I will rescue him, mm -hmm. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Mm -hmm. What an awesome psalm. It's beautiful. What an awesome promise from God. There's mm. such a lot that one can find in this psalm. And it's so, such a powerful mm. psalm. Mm -hmm. Such a lot of truths at, at, as we apply the word of God, stand upon the word of God. You know, I love what you said earlier on. The psalm really speaks about the fact that we're not alone. Mm. That God is always mm -hmm. there with us. Mm -hmm. But let's have a look verse by verse what the psalm and break it down what the psalm really is telling us. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Mm. And that means that, you know what, that we, when God is for us, who can be against us? It's just reassuring us again. Mm -hmm. that it doesn't matter what we're facing, you know. Mm. If God is in, in our midst, if God is always in our storm, mm. that we can just rest in Him. It doesn't That's matter. Right what storms comes our way and the important thing in this in this opening verse is to to see that those who find rest in the sure. in the shadow of the almighty mm. we need to approach god we need to find our rest in god in him, yeah. you know we don't go from god to mm. rest we go to him that's right to rest and it says here we will find we'll find rest in the mm. shadow of the almighty i will set i will say to the lord he is my refuge and my fortress mm my God in whom I trust. And that again speaks of you having to trust the Lord, mm. that He is your fortress, that He will protect you, mm. that He will always shelter you, mm. that He will guide you, comfort you. and comfort you. Mm. But we need to place our rest and our trust in Him. In him. We need to find our rest and place our trust mm. in Him. Surely He will save me from the foulest snare, and from the deadly pestilence. Now this verse has often been quoted during the COVID era, if I could call it that, mm. where people often quoted the scripture 
in Psalm mm. 91, where it says here, you know, surely you will save me from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. Mm. So when there is pestilence and where there is anything that the devil brings to harm us, God will save us from that. Mm. He will save us. His hand will, of protection will, be will always be over us. Mm. Listen to verse 4. It says, He will cover you with His feathers. Yeah. And under His wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield yeah. and your rampart. And that just means that we need to be close to God. Mm. You know, if, you're, if I'm under you, you, I need to be close to you. I can't stand here and, and expect you to cover me. So I need to be close to you mm. in order for you to cover me. And that is what it's about. Mm. We need to stay in fellowship with the Lord. Stay in His presence because that is when He will cover us. Mm. He will shelter us against danger. Absolutely. Absolutely. Continues to say that you will fear, you will not fear the terror of the night, mm. nor the arrow that flies by day. Mm. You will not fear the terror of the night, mm. nor the arrow that, that flies by mm. day. That, that means day and night, yeah. you will not fear. That's right. Day and night you will walk in peace. Yeah. Day and night you will rest in peace. Mm. Because the Lord says here in That's His right. Word, I will not fear any danger yes. whether day or night. That's right. I will always find my rest and my comfort, my peace mm. in Him. It says... Nor will pestilence that stalks in the darkness or plague that destroys in the midday. And again, speaking of whether it's pestilence, whether it is sickness, whether it's viruses, whether it's diseases, whether it's day or night, mm. God protects us That's through fine. all of that. He is our fortress. Mm. And the, 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 the psalmist says here, in Him you can trust. That's right. And so when we place our trust in the Lord to keep us safe and to protect us, it doesn't matter what time of, of the year it is, it doesn't matter what season it mm. is, you know, um, if it's flu season, according to the world, we don't have to accept mm. the fact that everybody gets sick, That's right. because no disease, no pestilence will come near, will come near our dwelling place. And then it says, even though a thousand fall on your side and ten thousand on your right hand, but it won't come near you. Mm. And that is powerful because, you know, in the world today we see such a lot of such a lot of danger around us we see such a lot of dangerous situations mm. around us um i use an example of flu you know when we kind of hit towards winter we call it the flu season um, but that flu season does not have to be something that you as a child of god accept. can accept in your life mm. you can resist it and stand on the psalm here and say even though the whole world even though a thousand fall mm. and get sick with flu it's not going to come near That's my right. dwelling place and that is the authority that you as a believer have in the word of god and i think that is why it's so important that we need to declare the word of god over us every mm. day mm. now you speak these things we speak life into situations you can't just say, it won't come near my dwelling place, but you confess the wrong things. Correct. You, you know, you accept what the world say. Mm -hmm. So you need to confess the word over your life daily. Thank you, Lord, for your continuous healing that flows in and through my body mm -hmm. and over my family's life. Thank you, Lord, that sickness won't come near my dwelling place. Yeah. So we need to speak these promises over our life. Yeah, absolutely. So... Your, um, your body will come in line with your words. That's what are you right. saying about your situation? Mm. What are you saying about yeah. your health? You know, because that at the end of the day is what you're going to get. Mm. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, mm. even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. Mm. Nor did, no disaster will come near your tent. And so, you know, how we can apply this in our life is that it doesn't matter where we find ourselves, where we live, where we drive, where we work. No disaster right. will ever come near your dwelling place. Mm. This year it says near your tent. Mm. And tent is a dwelling place. That's tent right. is where you live. Near your home, and yeah. so declare over your home mm. the protection of God. Right. Speak the protection of Use yeah. this verse here to say no disaster mm. will come near my dwelling place right. my house 
is always protected. protected. Mm. The angels of God stand and encamp around this That's home, right. keeping me and my family safe. safe. Yeah, That's good. And so he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Mm. They will lift you up and they, in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. stone. And so what, you know, whenever I read that portion of scripture, it's the exact scripture that the devil used to tempt Jesus. Mm. Remember, yeah. when, when he tempted Jesus, he says, why don't you throw yourself off this temple building? Mm. And the Come Bible on. says here that God will send the angels of God mm. to, so that you don't even knock your foot against the stone. Mm. And the devil said this to Jesus, quoting the scripture out of Psalm 91. Mm. And use the scripture to really test God, to tempt God. Mm. And Jesus' response was, but the word says, you will not tempt the Lord your God. You will not test the Lord your God. Mm. And so um, the scripture here um, is not, it's not that it's untrue that, you know, even if you find yourself in a dangerous situation, the angels of God will always be there mm. protect, to protect you. But do not, te do not tempt God. Mm. Don't go, for example, and be reckless on the road mm. and then declare the scripture God yeah. will send his angels to encamp around That's me right. no you need to be cautious you need to be careful yeah. and you need to be a law abiding person That's right. you know the devil said to Jesus if you throw yourself off the, off mm. the pinnacle of this temple the angels of God will encamp around you and he's quoting Psalm 90, mm. 91 um, and so too you know when we're driving and on the roads for example don't tempt the Lord your God yeah. Don't drive 160 in an 80 zone and expect that the angels of God is going to is going to mm -hmm. be an encamp around you. You know the Lord does say He'll never leave you nor forsake yeah. you. So I believe God is with us in every situation. Yeah. But you know, don't test the Lord your God yeah. and use Scripture wrongly to try and get you away from God. It's mm. good. It says here, you will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will, trample, tram, you will trample on the great lion and the serpent. And this means everything that comes against you, every attack from Satan, even Satan himself. You will have the authority. You will have the authority. The word says that Jesus has placed Satan under and your feet. feet. So we can trample on him and we can trample over the authority mm. um, that the devil thinks that he has over our lives because he's got no authority That's over right. us. But that is so important that we need to have the word inside of us yeah. so that we can give the devil the word. When these situations comes that come against us, we need to speak, we need to declare the word of because that is what Jesus did. Yeah. He gave the devil the word. Nothing right. else but the word. That's right. So that's what we need to do. We need to speak the word mm. into the situation. Absolutely. That's good. Speak the word into the situation psalmist goes on in verse 14 to say because he loves me says the lord i will rescue him and i will protect him mm -hmm. for he acknowledges my name acknowledge god in all, in all situations mm -hmm. you know god wants to rescue you wants to keep mm -hmm. you wants to protect you he wants to heal you family yeah. for his glory That's right. and as long as we acknowledge god yeah. in everything we bring glory to his yes. name you know we will always walk within under his protection. Yeah. You will call upon me, says the Lord, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble and I will deliver him and honor him. How will he honor us? It says here, he will honor us with long life. I will mm. satisfy him and show him my salvation. Mm. So really Psalm 91 is a brilliant psalm to confess over your life. You know, regularly, mm. you know, uh, again, you know, I can remember in our church, um, we had little um, bookmarks made with Psalm 91 on it because we wanted people to confess Psalm 91 mm. all the time. Um, because at the end of the day, we find comfort in knowing that the Lord is with yes. us. Yes. And in the time, if you remember how, you know, COVID forced people to be isolated, mm. we couldn't go out, we couldn't gather, we couldn't yeah. touch. You know, yeah. people needed to be comforted by yes. the fact that, you they're know, you can alone. stand upon the word and they're not alone. Yeah. God is always with them, with you. That's right. Yeah. And so it's important, family. I think what we, we're trying to say over these couple of weeks is, you know, take the word, go, go meditate on the word. And when situations come your way, speak the word, because that is 
the only way how we're going to overcome the devil mm. by speaking the word in our situations. You know, not thinking it, mm. you know, but speak it. But speak yeah. it. Yeah. Speak it into your situations. You know, meditate on the word day and night, mm. the word tells us. Absolutely. And so we know that as we confess, and we've seen this work, mm. as we confess, especially Psalm 91, you know, over our situations, mm. you know, every day, yeah. you and I pray God protection over us. That's we right. pray the angels of God encamp around right. us. We pray that even if we find ourselves in difficult situations, mm. that God is with us. Mm. You know, every day we take Psalm 91 and, and um, we confess yeah. parts of it over our lives. Mm. And we want to encourage you to do the do same. This. And like I said, in our church, we had a little book markers made and we gave it to, 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 to every oh, single yes. people. And I've still got mine. You know, yeah. it's been over two years now we had it made. And um, I will look at it and every now and then we'll read it to the congregation, reminding ourselves yeah. of the promises of, God. of Psalm 91. That's right. Because it's important Absolutely. that we know the promises of God. is, And it's the same yesterday, today and forever. It Correct. doesn't change. His promises are the same. Mm. So we just need to tap into it mm. and declare it over our lives. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Well, family, we trust that you'll enjoy this. And we know that as you continue to spend time in the Word of God, that the Word of God will always bring you comfort. It That's will right. always guide you. It will always lead you as the Word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light, light unto our path. We pray and trust that you're going to have an awesome Wednesday. And we know that God is always in control of our lives and good success, good health. Mm. And we pray that you will prosper in everything yeah. just as your soul, soul prospers. prospers. Well, family, from our home to your home, we love you and we continue praying for you. We certainly do love you. We certainly do pray for you. And God bless you. Have an awesome Wednesday.